What's going on guys, it's your boy Uz. We are back again once again with another Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter reaction. Um, I, if you're coming from the Boruto reaction, you'll know that this week, um, there it's not a Sunday or anything, but that normally doesn't really matter because these chapters come out once a month. However, the schedule is kind of weird this, this time around because all of the weekly chapters that usually just release on Sundays came out here on Thursday, so I'm not really sure what's going on with Jump over there in Japan, but um, either way, we're all adapting to the craziness that's going on known as 2020, and uh, I've literally, more specifically, have been looking forward to this particular chapter because the events that are happening in Dragon Ball Super have kind of been predictable i can i can definitely just say that they've been predictable um without going too much into it you guys already know if you've been keeping up and if you haven't i highly suggest and recommend that you check the playlist out watch back the manga reactions and yes for those that are wondering if the full power podcast will continue it will it's it, it, it will don't worry we will definitely i will get kai back on here and we'll talk about it we missed i feel like i'm not gonna lie i'll say this right now i feel like the reason why we didn't have an episode to listen in on or to even t discuss what happened um with last month's chapter is just because of how everything happened as we literally envisioned it there was act there was literally no reason to discuss anything I, I, you know i think it was kind of a <laughs> funny enough i just feel like it was a good break uh to just kind of like let let the time roll on you know breathe come back and we'll see what happens in chapter 64 sun goku galactic patrol officer i don't know what that's all about but let's get right into it so this time around i actually missed out on checking out the preview images that they normally provide and i usually do a video for them but I think I'm just gonna stick to these and if I do happen to run into preview images in the future then we might look at that on stream so definitely hit me up on Twitch if you want to interact with me live so here we go okay it kind of, so it looks like these are the Galactic Patrol they're probably on their way to Earth right now if I remember correctly from last chapter it kind of feels like we just lost something important huh oh no did they oh man they probably got like some kind of sense that Mirus is gone what, why? Is Ancient Mirrors really dead? Uh oh, there goes Goku. Goku, you okay? I learned another important lesson from Mirrors. <clears throat> oh yeah? And what would that be? That I'm not fighting alone. Hmm. Now Beerus, well, let's see it, Goku. It is imminent, but can he properly control his emotions? I was saved by Vegeta, Dende too. And in the end, I made Mirrors give up his life. Oh, okay. So Agent Mirus is really gone. But he didn't do it for me. He did it for our universe. Oh. Oh, he started to clench and he let go. And he started to breathe. Oh, this is new. Okay, this is new. But ultimately, he's probably gonna get all the chance anyway. But okay, let's see. And then, he, and, then, and then he looks out. Can I ask you something, Jocko? Why'd you join the Galactic Patrol? And he goes, that's your question? Do we really have time for this? Come on, tell me. I, well, um, I wanted to help preserve peace in the galaxy, duh. Also, the uniform is just the awesomest. Right, Mirrors felt the same way. Right now, I'm a Galactic Patrol agent just like you. So protecting the universe is my duty too. I can't let Moro have his way with our home. Okay. Curse you. You and your inscrutable techniques. Stand back, Jacko. Where did that Mirus run off to? Mirus doesn't exist anymore, which means that beating you is my job. You, you're still spouting that crap. Mirus may be gone, but he his will lives on in me. Oh, Goku being Goku. He powers up. Wow. Oh my god, look at this. So they're like all alarmed. Look at Goku's hair right now. The freaking wind is just freaking, whoosh, it's blowing up. Wow, look at that, waves are crashing. Forests are freaking moving. Oh my god, look at that display of power from the distance. Piccolo's like, look, who's that? 
Gohan's like, it's dad! He's finally ready to do this! Okay. Beerus goes, seems to be going well enough. Whis goes, yes, it would appear so. We are about to witness Ultra Instinct perfected. The ground stopped rumbling. I don't feel a thing. It's so quiet. It's as if those storms a second ago never happened. Oh my god. Hey yo, he yo he <laughs> Goku got the jump. He like this. He's about to drop next page. Watch, ready, ready? Where's my keyboard? Ready? Oh! oh my god, look, as predictable as this is, it's always hype to see. My man at the peak, son. At the top of the mountain. All right, let's get it. Well, what? Now, what's that form? Silver hair, new color in my book. <laughs> Yo, he looking tough. He's walking with the slow approach. Yo, Moro is. Ooh, he's trembling. Yo, he yo he he got the, the heebie-jeebies, the jitter in his teeth. Ah. Uh. Wait, what happened? Oh my god. He he must feel his presence is like so like oh my god. He's like, stay back! Oh yo, he got the quick movement. Oh my god, yo, look at Peaches. She's getting up. What's up, girl? What's wrong? Too much power for you? Oh yeah, she <laughs> come here. It's alright. It's alright. Goku's about to save more right now. Alright, look. Here we go. He stops him, right? Moro freaking is so surprised. Goku's not even looking at him. You won't harm the earth anymore. <laughs> Yo, these one-liners, these are the best. Like, that's the best. When they, they just, they barely speak, and they just say, like, they get right to the point. There's like, you won't harm the earth anymore. Ugh. He tries to kick him. Then, nope, nothing. He sees the punch coming. Goku just easily blocks. Ooh, he got the Bruce Lee. Uh, moves him with the... Uh. He is he is the water right now in the cup. He, is, he has become the cup, all right? Ooh, and he just... Whoosh, he freaking flipped him back. He's, he's going all the way back over there. Damn, that was far. Touchdown. Moro gets up. He's like, how? What did you do? You worm. He charges Goku right now. Freaking Moro goes for the punch. Goku looks like he just... Oh, he... Ba -da 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 -da, he blocking everything. He's not phased. He's not even making eye contact with this dude. Oh, my God. He is... He is still standing in the same direction. He sees everything without even seeing it. Hi ay ay Look at that. <sighs> Dodges the kick. Now dodges all the freaking, you know, he's doing the Harlem Shake right now, freaking doing, you know, dodging everything. He's fine-tuning his moves more and more. Indeed, he is. Still coming at him. Completely dodged him, hits the ground. Goku's on the other side completely. But how did you, how are you dodging like that? Goku's like, not thinking. What? My body's acting on its own and deciding how to dodge. Which is why your attacks can't hit me that's like some really weird like just like i know like the whole the whole ultra instinct thing is like you're supposed to it's like the it's almost like the power of nothingness like you just you don't think you just your body just moves but like it's just it's just hella anime like it's, I don't know, uh, whatever we'll just keep going i like I, if you feel what i mean let me know but like i i don't know how else to explain it. it's just like one of those things where it's just like cool like, I, like okay like you it's just, it's just doing it. Okay, nice. Acting on its own, you say? Stop spouting nonsense. Oh, Moro powers up. Ah, right? Oh, yikes. That's Moro this time. He's charging up to full power again. What? Ah, right? Oh, Goku. He's feeling it. Oh, Goku took a stance. He like this, right? He got, he got the jaw right here. Boom. Uh oh, Moro fully charged. Moro charging at him. Goku literally. Then he put the hands out, right? Wait, did he? Oh, did he stop him? Oh, he's. Oh, he stopped him in his tracks, son. Oh man, that's the God Bind right there. Wait, what? He's got him up here. 
Okay, he clenches. He goes, ah, what, what? What kind of, so wait a minute, you mean to tell me he just, he literally held him in place and then just jumped up and freaking boom, gut check? Okay. That might, that might look more hype in the anime, right? Damn, look at that. That the freaking force of the blow. Boom. That everybody felt it. My god, look at the visual representation of this freaking. Everybody could feel that hit. Oh my god, the whole planet. Dude, everybody felt it. Bro. <laughs> Wait, did he just not nah. Yo, that looked like a sure you can stance. Yo, he hit him so high up in the air. Beerus goes perfectly done. Oh, a rare bit of respect from you? Respect where it's due. That's OD. The way he f the way he fights is godlike. <laughs> Aha! Dude, when you got people like Beerus acknowledging you, that's how you know you made it. Goku notices. Lord Beerus? Whis? You guys are here? Don't stop now. Finish the job so we can eat. <laughs> Goku smiles. Uh oh, he comes. Oh my God, Moro literally landed right back on down to the ground. He's got like a whole bruise bleeding from his abdomen, literally looking like he can't even breathe. Goku's like, "You realize now that you can't beat me, right?" Moro's like, trying to grab onto the ground. He gets up somehow. He's coughing up blood. He's not feeling good. He actually, wow, he freaking gets right back on down to his knees. Are you starting to understand the pain and suffering of everyone you've killed? Do you get how that feels now? Silence, how how dare you presume to lecture me? You must think yourself a god. And now he's like, know this. I do not fear divine power. I am moral, consumer of worlds. The gods' creation are mine to devour. I am this galaxy's supreme life form. That's all. Oh, oh, I like that. That's fire. Now the whole freaking earth is erupting. He's pulling a Frieza. Oh my god, look at this. Whether this planet lives or dies is up to me. Which would you serve? Which would serve me better? Think hard on that. Uh oh. Now he tries to come up from behind Goku. Goku's still on face. Sweet chin music to the freaking face. Knocks him back. Oh, he goes into the lava. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's lava, right? It's coming from the earth, right? Ooh, he looking burnt. <gasps> wow. Yo, he really yo. You see all that lava? Oh my god. You're done, Moro. Earth isn't your plaything anymore. Oh my god. Oh, he lost the arm. Ah! Yo, and his and his freaking horns is oh no. You care for this planet to that extent, then my next act will be to consume it. Yeet, no you won't. Gut check, ooh, he's got a hit back, boom, right into another freaking mountain top. The mountain collapsed on him. And no, and all you see is his arm, and he goes, help me. Hmm, what'd he say? Please, don't kill me. He's begging for mercy now. Hey, Jacko. He was sent to he was sentenced to death. Yeah? And Jack was like, huh? Uh yeah, yeah, he was. So do you mind doing the deed for us? I see. In that case, let me fight him as an earthling from here on. Huh? What does that mean? Beerus literally Oh! Oh! Has he gone and quit the Galactic Patrol? I got a bad feeling about this. Holy, okay, 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 okay. With all, with all things considered, everything that has been so predictable, I will give it to Toyotaro that this is something I was not seeing. I did not predict this. I didn't think that the power that Goku is now in full control of is literally at the point now where at first he was fighting for the universe, but now he literally, as symbolic as that was, he took off the Galactic Patrol. He quit the job. He said, I'm out. 
I'm not doing this no more. The pay is crap. I can barely live. And here we are. I'm gonna do things my way. Goku shreds off the freaking top part of his gi, and now he is full Ultra Instinct, no shirt mode, fully body flexing. He got a little scar on the chest, bro. I'm telling you, if he gonna fight him as an Earthling, and Beerus says he has a bad feeling about this, I don't know if we're gonna start assuming if, if does this mean that Goku has lost it? Has he lost control? Does this mean that he is like on some, you know, God of Destruction type stuff where he this he he goes and he he decides like he he chooses who goes and who can stay? Because let's think, let us think. Wow, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Goku has been the same his entire career. Let's think about this. He has been the same his entire career. And what do I mean by that? My man Goku, ever since he freaking fell on his head, he's been a happy-go-lucky, always looking for fights, always looking to train and get stronger, always looking to fight with people stronger than him so that what? He can then get stronger and just keep going and going and going. He is now at the point where, as Mira stated in the last chapter, that no one should ever be able to top him ever again. Now that we have this understanding, this is the be all end all of forms. Ultra instinct perfected, not just mastered, perfected. My man, we confirmed that for us within this chapter, okay? And now with all of these things taken into consideration with Goku's monologue, with how he was fighting Moro, literally how at first it was not just about fighting for the earth, but fighting for the universe. He was doing that because he said the will of Miris lives within him, even though he is no longer around. However, now it's to the point where because Moro within this fight threatened to take the energy of the earth, I think that hit a little, a little, it struck a chord within Goku. And that is now why he is kind of taking on this newer, character development which is crazy to even think and say because normally he will always just like he always tries to befriend to give chances to and and that's why and they even they even established this in whether it was the last chapter or, the, or a few chapters ago and they kind of revisited that and i feel like now thinking back to that i think that those those things brought out in conversation was almost like a, a planted seed because is this now going to be a brand new Goku that we've never seen before where when not only just Earth but if the universe as they know it is in dire threat where someone's gonna try and really change all that is Goku now at the level where he knows that no one can stop me now and because of this, if you start threatening the people that I love, the earth that I live in, the home that I have grown up on, if you threaten that, I will, is he actually gonna just close the, the book on that individual or these groups of people? Will anybody ever actually be opposed a threat? Because if they do, Goku's just gonna handle them? Bruh. This low-key makes me want to see the rematch. Goku vs. Jiren 2. Except it's not no term in the power. There's no all the universes are on the line kind of situation. I need to see what Goku is now. Because he is acting like a god of destruction. He's acting unlike how we're used to seeing him. And that is something that is very interesting that I did not see coming. So... Furthermore, yes, I still am a little bit upset that this did not play out in the way that we were expecting it to play out with it being about Vegeta this time around so that Vegeta could finally get his big win and have it for himself. But even though they're still making it all about Goku right now, I think that this is a, brand, a very refreshing, it's a very refreshing new take and it, it asks a lot of questions that I am definitely in need of answers for. 
and I think at the same time it also pays a little homages and it kind of reminds me of the fight with Frieza like think about it the last time we saw something even close to this was when he was fighting Frieza on Namek and here we are on Earth it's almost the same way I mean even when Moro tried to power up to full power and so hard that lava from the depths of the earth came up looking like he was about to destroy it absorb it whatever and goku prevented that this time that's the difference so with all that in mind i think that chapter 64 was definitely a really dope chapter i hope you guys understand uh, all of the things that i was you know saying where i'm coming from um, if you guys have any other questions possibly or anything that I might have missed or something that you want me to talk more about, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, and come to my streams, definitely uh, ask whatever. Let's talk about it even more so because this, this is, like I said, something I did not see coming. We're definitely going to uh, chop it up with Kai very soon, hopefully sooner than later. But in the meantime, again, comment below what you guys thought of this chapter what do you think is going to happen in next month's october 20th which is a friday for next month uh like share subscribe make sure you are liking and subscribing um, because you already know what the youtube algorithm is on some other stuff right all the supporting links are going to be in the description below make sure you guys are partaking in the uchi gang be more a part of the uchi gang not just following me but be more a part of it all right um yeah, that's it. Uh, take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.